All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. This hour, we're going to be taking a look at sentence structure, um, uh, going through a, a number of different uh, quizzes, checking to see uh, how well you know uh, sentences, you know, structure, basically. Uh, so we'll have a, a lot of multiple choice questions, and you'll, you'll get to uh, read through the question and uh, choose which one you believe is the answer. Okay, uh, I won't be giving you the link to the uh, to the website because I don't want you looking ahead and, and uh, trying to figure out what the answers are. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's basically what uh, what we're going to be doing for this hour. Okay, uh, very good. Hi, Ivan. Welcome to class. Good to have you here. Hello, Chet. I'm doing Hi well. There. Great, great. Good to see you again. Me too. All right. We also have Amparo. Hi there, Amparo. Welcome back. Hi again. Hi there. All right. Very cool. So we may have a uh, a small class today. We'll we'll see. We'll see. All right, you guys. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and get rolling. Okay. So we are we are on number. Eight, eight here, and I'll zoom in. Okay, and Ivan, we're going to start off with you. Okay, so basically how this goes, Ivan, uh, I want you to read through number one. Okay, and uh, you'll get the first chance to choose uh, what you believe the answer is, and then uh, I'll see if uh, the the rest of the class agrees with you. Okay, or if they agree with another answer. Okay. okay. So go ahead and uh, and take a look at uh, number one and go ahead and read that. Uh, of minerals, which uh, are chemical elements or compounds of uh, varying purity. Uh, uh, rocks consists of minerals which are chemical elements or compounds of varying purity. Okay, so you're, uh, you're thinking of Option C. rocks consist, right? So yes, letter right. C. Okay. All right. What do you guys think in class? It's okay. Rocks consist? Yes. Okay. Yes. Two. And I think we're only going to go with two because we only have four people in class today. So yes, uh, rocks and cysts is correct. Uh, all right, uh, let's go to number two. Uh, let's see, this is four. Um, number two, please. For me? Hello? Yep. Uh, okay. The topology uh, of yes, you're Mars next. is more than that of any other planet. The topology of Mars is more than that of any other planet. A. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's try this out. The topology of Mars is more like that of the Earth than of any other planet. Okay. What do you guys think? Yes. I, yes. Agree. Okay. Good. How about you, Muhammad? Muhammad, what do, what do you believe? Muhammad? Okay, all right. And so A is correct. A is correct. Very good. Thank you, Amparo. Nice job, you guys. Let's go to number three. This is for Nudel. Number three, please. Okay, the, the, where is this? Okay. The edible to mushroom blank from caution like moist scalp. Okay, something okay, that is light brown or darkish red. Hmm. Okay, the edible to mushroom has number D. Okay, so letter D. 
Let's try this. The edible tube mushroom has a cushion-like moist cap that is light brown or darkish red. What do you guys think? Is has okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, good, good. Yes, it is D. All right, thank you. Um, all right, Mohammed, number four, please. Can you read that? Check your check your microphone. Make sure that it is plugged in. All right, let's go to um, Ivan. Ivan, number four. Go ahead and read that. Uh, which is the highest in the range? Appears challenging. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe um, uh, the mountains, which is the highest in the range, appears challenging. Or climbing the mountain. Okay. I, I, I'm not sure. All right. Okay. What do you guys What do you guys think? Is it going to be A or B? A. a. He, he is not sure. A. Okay. A. Nurel says A. Amparo says A. Okay. Yeah. So let's try it out. Um, climbing the mountain, which is the highest in the range, appears challenging. Okay. A is correct. Climbing the mountain. Okay. All because right. Action is uh, the. It, it is action. Yes. Climbing the mountain. Yeah. Well, also, yeah. Also, um, you have the mountains, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. appears. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. The mountains. Okay. It would have to be the mountains appear. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and number five, Amparo. Thank you. Take nitrogen, nitrogen, into the root um, from the air. Better D. Okay. All right. So legumes uh, take nitrogen into their roots nitrogen. from the air. Okay. What do you guys yes. think? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Good. All right. Awesome. Nice job, you guys. All right. Let's go to our next one here. And Nurel, Nurel number mm -hmm. six, please. Okay, in blank, the advance of the telephone, radio, and telegraph has made rapid long distance communication possible. Okay, uh, to 100 minutes, please. Okay, the last 100, 100, uh, is later, 100, uh, again. Okay, um, I will go with B. Uh, B is in boy. Yes, as in boy. Okay, in one hundred years ago, the advent of the telephone, radio, and telegraph has made rapid long distance communication possible. What do you guys think? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, D, D as in dog. D is bad. Okay. D is in dog. Ah, uh, yeah, you guys are right. Yes. Yeah, uh, in the in the last 100 years, that would be that would be the best option here. Okay, good, good, nice job. All right, number seven, uh, Ivan. Yes, uh, automobile production in the United States. Uh, um, uh, are going up and down all the time, maybe. Okay. All right, so let's try this. Automobile production in the United States are going down, sorry, are going up and down all the time. What do you guys think? I think it's letter B. Okay, B. Mm -hmm. B. What do you think, Nero? B? I think B. 
has been. Uh, okay. Been Let's try that. Automobile production in the United States has been rather erratic recently. Oh. Okay, that is correct. It, our answer is B. Uh, what does it mean, erratic? Uh, erratic means um, up and down. Down. Uh, up and down. Okay, not okay. not consistent. The difference, mm -hmm. though, okay, is when we're talking about automobile production and R. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we would not say R here. Oh, okay, yes. uh, automobile yes. production is mm -hmm. is uh, is erratic lately. We could say, or is actually not with lately. We could just say automobile production is erratic. Automobile production in the United States is erratic. Okay, okay. but here it would be best to say has been erratic with lately. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or with recently. Okay, uh, good. Let's go to number eight. Um, let's see here. Amparo. Uh, desert. Or desert. The, uh, a desert. A desert. Two yeah. S's. Two, two S's S. would be yes, desert. Yes, it's almost a confusion. A desert receives less than <laughs> 25 <laughs> rainfall every year. Um, 25, uh, let us see, centimeters. Of rainfall every year. Okay. Okay. What do you guys think? A desert receives less than 25 centimeters of rainfall every year. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Yeah. What do you think, Nurel? Okay. Correct. Good. Yes. Good. Yeah. C. Correct. Awesome. Uh, number nine, Nurel. Yes. Because 25 there is adjective, right? That's why there's yeah. no, there is S. Okay. Number nine. Bank of the United States from no southern New Hampshire in the north of to Virginia in the south. A vast urban region has been defined as a megalopole, megalopolis, polis that is a cluster of cities. Uh huh. One of the novels we see board for the United States of Okay. Uh, maybe maybe uh, letter A. Oh uh, sorry. Where is it? Uh, is letter A on, no, 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 on no. the on the northeastern seaboard? Yes, yes, letter A. Okay, let's try that out. Okay, on the northeastern seaboard of the United States from southern New Hampshire in the north to Virginia in the south, a vast urban region has been defined as a megalopolis, that is, a cluster of cities. What do you guys think? Sound pretty good? I, I think option D. Okay, option D. 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 Okay, option D. Um, um, Amparo, what do you think? I am still thinking. <laughs> okay. All right, let me read D then. Okay. At the northeastern seaboard of the United States from the southern New from southern New Hampshire in the north to North Virginia in the south, sorry, to Virginia in the south, a vast urban region has been defined as a megalopolis, that is a cluster of cities. So at at the northeastern seaboard or on the northeastern seaboard. All right, Mohammed, how are you? Check your microphone. Hello, Chad. There it is. Now I can hear you. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I think it's a, it's a. Good. Okay. I'm doing I'm doing great, Mohammed. Thank you. Um, yes, our answer is A. Okay. Uh, northeastern seaboard. This is going to be the shoreline. Okay, or the section that's closest to the ocean. Okay, and if we're talking about um, land, we would be on instead of at. Okay, we're, we're on the seaboard. Okay, uh, so, so Chet, we use at if we mean a particular pl place, uh, not. Yeah, when we're at 
at, at a particular beach. Yeah, not not along uh, along a certain area. Oh, okay? okay, I I can be on a mountain. Mm-hmm. Okay, the, which is huge. Okay, um, I can be at a park. Okay, but it's a geographical area that's kind of closed off. Okay, I'm at the mall. I'm at my house. Okay, it's a geographical mm-hmm. area that's that's closed off. On is, is well, it's it's going to be two things. Okay, you're on the surface. Okay, of something because I can have something on my wall. Okay, but when we're talking about um, uh, this geographical area, okay, we are on the sea, the seaboard. Okay, we're on on the shore. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, on the shoreline. Okay. All right, very good, uh, Mohammed. Uh, number ten is for you. You came right in time. Okay. B is blank. Display this. This neck preferences for different colors, but are also sensitive to ultraviolet light. Okay, what do you believe the answer is? Not only. Okay. okay. Not only. B is okay, not so let's only. try that out. Okay. So bees not only display distinct preferences for different colors, but are also sensitive to ultraviolet light. What do you guys think? Yes, right. Correct. Okay. Two? Anybody Correct. else? Yes. Yes. Okay, all right, good, good. It is B. It is B. Nice job, you guys. And Mustafa, welcome to class. Welcome, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. All right, let's go to our next one, you guys. All right, next page, number 11. This is for Ivan. Uh, The decomposition of... Uh, microscopic animals at the bottom of the sea results in an accumulation of blank in uh, porous rocks. Um, uh, I, I think it's uh, A. Okay, so let's try that out. Uh, the decomposition of microscopic animals at the bottom of the sea results in an accumulation of the oil in porous rocks. What do you guys oh, think? Sorry, yes. oils. oils. Okay, oils, you want to change it to D? Um, no, A. Let A, yes. A. Okay, letter A. Okay. Oh, yes, what do you guys what do you guys think yes. here? Yeah, a, yes. Two for A, Nurel said A. I said B. Okay, Amparo says B. 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 Okay. Oh, All right, so we've got uh, we've got multiple for A. Our answer is actually B. Okay? So, let's take a look here. Um here in, in this situation we would not need the article, okay? Um, the decomposition of microscopic animals at the bottom of the sea results in an accumulation of oil in porous rocks. Okay, we're not pointing out the oil. We're not setting it apart from any anything else. We're just saying uh, in general. Okay, there's there's oil there. Okay, accumulation of oil in porous rocks. Okay, no no article needed. If the oil All right, had two. already been uh-huh. uh, men- mentioned, uh, you need to put the, the article then. If you yes. uh, talk, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, oil at the oil at the bottom of the sea um, seeps into. Oh, well, let's see how I could. Yeah, if it's if it's uh, mentioned before, maybe, maybe oil, you said oil uh, floating down. The composition of microscopic animal at the bottom of the sea produce oil, and it. Uh, Eat oil? Uh, no. 
And that, and that oil uh, tends to accumulate mm -hmm. in, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that that's right. So once you once you mention it, mention it Before. the one time, then you do it. Need mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. Um, all right, number twelve. Uh, Amparo, number twelve, please. If water is heated to two thousand twelve degrees Fahrenheit, a steam. Uh, letter A. It will boil and escape. Okay. If water is heated to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, it will boil and escape as steam. Okay. What do you guys think? Yes. Correct. Yes. Correct. First conditional. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Yeah, first conditional. Good job. Okay. Nice. A. Okay. Uh, number 13. Nurel. I believe, right? Chemicals yeah, in no. paint. Chemicals in paints that pose a fire hazard blank as combustible, flammable, or extremely flammable. Okay. Okay. Are listed as and we go with A. Okay. A. So chemicals in paint that pose a fire hazard are listed as combustible, flammable, or extremely flammable. What do you guys think? It's yes. right. Letter okay. A. A. Anybody else? Yes, A. Two for A. Uh, A. A. Okay. Good. Yeah, our answer is A. Our answer is A, are listed. Okay, nice job, you guys. Uh, number 14. Okay, number 14 is for Mustafa. Yes. Thus, the 35 uh, years between the end of the Civil War and the turn of the uh, century, the population of the United States dull doubled and the manufacturing the production increased seven, um, sevenfold. It's in and uh, B. Okay, in. All right. In the 35 years between the end of the Civil War and the turn of the century, the population of the United States doubled, and manufacturing production increased sevenfold. All right. How does that sound, you guys? Good. In. Okay. Yeah. In. All right. Good. Yeah. In. In is correct. Okay. Nice job. Nice job. Number 15. This is for Mohammed. Okay. Each medical, each medical book we read means one less great book that that we would otherwise have a chance. To read. D. Okay, so D. Okay, let's the, try that the, out. The, Excuse me. Can you What's that? Uh, can you uh, pronounce uh, spell this word? It's medical. Mediocre. Mediocre. Okay. Mediocre. Okay. Mediocre. So each mediocre book that we sorry, sorry. each me, me each mediocre book we read means one less great book that we would otherwise have a chance to read. How does that sound, you guys? Yes. That's right. Okay. Yes. Three, good. Good, yeah, our answer is D. Okay, to read, excellent. Uh, what about A? Why would not um, A? A uh, okay. okay, so each mediocre book we read means one less great book that we would otherwise have a chance to read them. Okay, now we could say <clears throat> uh, to read them in w would work in another situation. Okay. Um, 
in this uh, case, would you otherwise because you already have the yeah the exactly okay uh, one one less great book that we would we that we would otherwise have a chance to read we already have the subject here okay um, we wouldn't need to do that when you could say that let me think real quick um, yeah this one would be difficult to add in there yeah taking a, if you took get out great book then it, then it wouldn't really make sense you'd be like well read what so in in our next sentence in our next sentence uh, Mustafa we could then then say them okay because now we're re we're, we're referring to those to the great books you already okay? but right now we have to we have to mention them at least one time What's that? You, uh, uh, we have mentioned uh, as a, uh, in the sentence about uh, the book. We didn't need uh, uh, we them. Have, we, have, we have mentioned We have them. two two different. Yeah, we have yeah. two different books though. We have a mediocre mm -hmm. book, and we have great books. Okay. Yeah, and so yeah. just like Amfaro said, it, it would be redundant. Yeah. But in our next sentence, in our next sentence, we can use them if we're then going to start referring to uh, great books. Okay, yeah. but here if we have mediocre books and great books, and we're referring to them. There's no, there's no there's no need to. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, let's go to our next one here. All right, number sixteen. Um, I believe Mohammed, did you read number fifteen? I think you did, right? Yes, I I did. <clears throat> okay, good. Uh, Ivan, number 16, please. Uh, the serval, a large African wildcat, hunts like a dog blank like other members of the cat family. Uh, I I think uh, option D. Okay, option D is in dog, right? <clears throat> yes. Okay, so uh, the several, uh, sorry, the serval, a large African wildcat, hunts like a dog, rather not like other members of the cat family. Okay, how does that I sound? Think. Mm -hmm. I think B rather than B. B rather than yeah, B. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not we, right, we right, need so the have verb. What's that? Uh, if we uh, take D, uh, we need verb uh, for not and subject. I well, we would need it, rather not would go with like I would rather not or I. I, I, yeah, I would go best with rather, rather not. Yeah. Okay. Would or sorry, would it would go best with would. Here, yeah. since we're we're comparing, okay, we would say rather than. Than. Okay. So. This is going to be our comparison word right here. Okay. Than. Okay. So we're comparing this animal. Okay, the wild cat, hunting like a dog. Okay. Instead of, or comparing them to other members of the cat family. Okay, so that it's a comparison that's going on here. Okay, mm -hmm. so the serval, a large African wildcat, hunts like a dog rather than like other members of the cat family. Okay. Okay. Understand. All right, number seventeen. Okay, number seventeen. This is for on um, part. Um, some retirement communities will not uh, sell property to new residents unless they are about the rest of the residents. The same age as letter C. Okay. All right, let's try that out. Some retirement communities will not sell property to new residents unless they are about the same age uh, as the rest of the residents. What do you guys think? Let's see. 
Yes. Okay. M One. Maybe two. D. Maybe D. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, let's try D. Uh, some retirement communities will not sell their uh, will not sell property to new residents unless they are about the same old as the rest of the residents. Yes, the same old. The, the same. Residents. What are you, What are you saying, Rudel? The same old uh, or the I same age? The same, the same old. Ones. Okay. Maybe okay. Maybe. Our Our answer is. All right, our answer is C. Okay. Yeah. It's so we're, we're, we would say the same age. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's very awkward to say old <laughs> as. Well, you can say as old. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, you could say as old as. Mm -hmm. That That would be how you would say that. You would not say as age as. Okay, you would say as old as, but here this would be the same age as. Okay, we can be the same age, we cannot be the same old. Mm -hmm. Okay, that does not work. Exactly. Okay. The same age. <laughs> yeah, it's the same age. That's the phrase that we use. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, I'm the same age as someone. Okay, I'm not the same old as old. someone. Okay, but I can be as old someone. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and I'm part of you read 17, right? Okay, so 18, 18 is for Nudel. Go ahead, Nudel. This year will be difficult for this organization because it has less money and fewer volunteers than it had last year. All right, you went right into it. Okay, so uh, it has less money and fewer volunteers than it had last year. B, right? Yes. Uh, right. What do you guys think? Is that correct? Yes, correct. correct. Yes. Okay. All right, good, good. That is correct. That is correct. Awesome. Nice job. Uh, let's Great go question to number advanced. 19. I didn't finish to read and uh, Mustafa. Was answering. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she went, she went right into it. She may have uh, read it uh, down down below when we were looking at 17. She a bit. Oh, no, no, okay, no, uh, number no, 19, it's, Mustafa. It's, I didn't okay. read it before. It's just because this oh, okay. organization that I was really quick picking. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, you did fine. You did fine. No one, no one has this link. I haven't given this link to anybody. Okay, unless you want to write down all of this. Okay. <laughs> if you want to take the time and, and write that down, that's up to you. No, this um, money was yeah. very easy. So, um, okay, good, good. All right, Mustafa, number 19. Yes, uh, total weight of all the ants, uh, the ants uh, in the world is much greater than is much greater than and all human being yeah, all human being uh, letter a okay let's try that um total weight total weight of all the ants in the world is much greater than to all human beings. Okay, what do you guys think? Letter A? I will go with C. Yes, C. C? Okay, two for C. All right, anybody else? A. Okay, all right, let's try, let's try out C. Okay, so we've got two for A, two for C. Um, this is C. Total weight of all ants in the world is much greater than that of all human beings. Okay, anyone changing their answer? Nope. Okay, our answer is letter C. Oops. Teacher, we are very consistent today. <laughs> yes. About yeah. Uh, that, 
<laughs> What's that? About our answers. We are uh, very consistent yeah, today. You guys are doing great. Yeah, you guys are doing really good. Thank you. Okay. So that that is referred to total weight. Okay. Then the then the weight of all humans. Okay. So you could say total weight of all the ants in the world is much greater than the total weight of all human beings. So instead of saying the total weight again, we just say that. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's go to number 20. And number 20 is for, let's see, Mohammed. Okay. Unlike the Earth, which rotates one every 24 hours, once every 10 hours. Okay, so let's see. Which one are we going to do? A. The rotation of Jupiter. Okay. Once every 10 hours. Okay, let's try this out. So unlike the Earth, which rotates once every 24 hours, the rotation of Jupiter once every 10 hours. You need a bird after that. You need is. Uh, you need is the rotation of Jupiter is it's once once every ten. Okay. Uh, I think it's letter C. Okay, letter C. Mm -hmm. Okay, instead of is on uh, here, you would probably use happens oh, oh, or yeah. occurs. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. you need a bear. Uh -huh, you need a <laughs> whatever it is. You need a bear. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so C. So our our answer is is not A. Uh, what uh, what other one would it be? Amparo B. says C. Anybody else? C. Jupiter rotates. Two for Once C. Every ten hours. Yes, C. C. Okay. Well, let's try that. Unlike the Earth, which rotates every twenty four hours, Jupiter rotates every or once every ten hours. Okay. So our answer is C. Jupiter rotates. Okay. So with A, yes, the rotation of Jupiter happens or occurs once every 10 hours. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go to our next one. All right, so test number nine. Okay, and let's go to Ivan, uh, number one. Go ahead and read that, please. With affection and humor, poet Phyllis McGinley, blank of ordinary life. <clears throat> Uh, what is virtues? Uh, virtues. Um, virtues are uh, like uh, morals. Okay, uh, things that are good uh, about someone. Okay, if someone is virtuous, that means that they are very, very uh, a very good, uh, a very good person. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I think let it be. Uh, D is in dog or B is in boy. Uh, B boy. Okay, B boy. All right, let's try that out. With affection and humor, poet Phyllis McGinley praised the virtues of ordinary life. Okay, what do you guys think? Yes. Yes. B. All right, two for B. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. B. B. Yes. All right. All right, everybody is right. You all get five million dollars. This is a five million dollar question. <laughs> the money is in your account now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> all right. We'll see you. I don't need English classes anymore. I don't need English classes anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to Hawaii. <laughs> we'll, we'll create a new language. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, if only it were true. You are very, uh, very good. Teacher. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Amparo number two. In addition to pleasure, excitement, challenge, and relaxa relaxation. Um, Uh, letter D, games provide. Okay, so let's try that out. In addition to pleasure, games provide excitement, challenge, and relaxation. What do you guys think? I agree. Yes. Two? Two for D? I think I heard yeah. a three for D. Yes, G. Okay, D. All right, good, good. Games provide. Games provide. Excellent. Nice job. Uh, number three. Uh, Nurel, number three, please. Okay, the household studies blank the monotonous working conditions of factory personnel were a major contribution to industrial psychology. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, in which language is D? Okay, uh, I will go with um, in which I will go with A. The how film studies. In which okay. Language? Yeah, this one has a lot of uh, this one has a lot of uh, uh, complicated words. Okay, so. Uh, let's try it out. The Hawthorne studies, in which the investigation of the monotonous working conditions of factory personnel were a major contribution to industrial psychology. What do you guys think? Yes. Yes. Okay. One for A. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think it's D. Okay. D. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's uh, let's try that one out. Okay, everyone else is saying A, on part of was saying D. Okay, the Hawthorne studies, an investigation of the monotonous working conditions of factory personnel were a major contr uh, sorry, were a major contribution to industrial psychology. Okay, what do you guys think? Anyone changing their their opinion, changing their answer? Nope. A. 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 Okay, our answer is E. Why? Okay, uh, an investigation. Okay, so if we if we were to say the Hawthorne studies, um, found let's see how could I how could I put this? Um, the Hawthorne studies were a were an investigation. Okay, uh, were investigation on working conditions. Or sorry, uh, were. The Hawthorne studies was an investigation about. Um, okay, the Hawthorne studies uh, was a major co contribution, or the Hawthorne studies were a major contribution to industrial psychology, in which, okay, the investigation, this investigation, or this investigation, proved monotonous working conditions. So you had to mention a little bit more about that that study and what it found out. And then you would say what you found. Okay, I here think, okay, uh, we're think. explaining what the Hawthorne study is. Okay, the Hawthorne studies and investigation. So this is going to be an adjective. Okay, we're explaining or an adjective phrase. We're explaining at it. Okay, throwing in 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 which the. Yes. Okay. It wouldn't make sense in this situation. Did you said in which the investigation of the monotonous working condition of factory personnel was done? It's different. Uh, you need in which. That that would work as well. Teacher, okay. I think both I think both are correct because when I listen to the lectures, they always say, "Well, this study, the scientist in the 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 the." the scientist uh, studies in which they did this and that, so they always use in which. I think they, both they are correct. They do use in which. Yeah. Uh, not in this situation. Not in this situation. They do use in which, but it's in a different, it's in a different type of situation. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, it, it, in uh, golly, I'm struggling to find a really good example to explain to explain it. Um, because here, this this right here, what we're looking at between these commas, this is an adjective phrase. Okay, it's explaining what the Hawthorne study is. Okay, mm -hmm. you're you're getting more information. That, that's why we would not say in the which, or sorry, in which the. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's, okay. That makes sense. That's, yes. Yes. This is not in the end. Okay. It's an adjective phrase. Yes, yeah. because there, there so is two commas there. Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. So that's no why that's why we would need to say an investigation. In um, the Hawthorne studies. Um, let's see. In which. If you if you use in which no. you are going to ne uh, need uh, the commas. Because it, it is an explanation about something. Yeah, but not the second comma. Maybe you will use only the first comma at the top, but not the second one if you use in which. It, it would it would go at the end. The Hawthorne studies were a major contribution to industrial psychology, in which they they found out the monotonous working conditions of factory personnel uh, affected them negatively. Okay, so in which then refers back to the Hawthorne study, which is the contribution to psychology. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in mm -hmm. that particular study, this is what they found out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me repeat that. Okay. The Hawthorne okay. studies were a major contribution to psychology, in which, so in that study, okay, in which the investigation, okay, of monotonous working conditions uh, led them to believe that, uh, you know, whatever their conclusion was. Okay, but that's that's how you would use that. That's how you would use in which. Mm -hmm. Okay, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be used as giving a description, which is what's being what's happening here. No, but that's giving a conclusion. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. All right. Good. Let's go to number four. Um, who did three? I forget. <laughs> Me. No Okay, you did. Okay. All right. So uh, number uh, number four, uh, Mustafa. Yes. <clears throat> Vaporization in connection with the general uh, blank has a market a market uh, effect on long term climate climate. Okay. Uh, letter A. Okay, letter A. Let's try that out. Um, vaporization in connection with general atmospheric conditions that has a marketed effect on long term climate. Okay, what do you guys think? Letter A? Uh, I think B. Okay. Letter A. One for B, one for A. I say D. <laughs> D is in dog? Yes. And, uh, okay. Anybody else? I already wrote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we have we have five we have five people in class. I had one person read, three people have answered. That leaves one person. I don't want to Okay. Well, twice. let's try. Let's try out B. B. <laughs> let's uh, let's try out let's try out B and let's try out D. Okay. So first up is B. Uh, vaporization in connection with general conditions are atmospheric, has a marketed effect on long-term climate. Okay. Uh, D. Vaporization in connection with general atmospheric conditions has a marketed effect on long-term climate. Yes. 
Okay. Uh, D. D, D. All right. Now this one here, I actually disagree with uh, with, with uh, the answer that they're that they are going to give. They say that the answer is going to be B, but there is no comma. All right. If they had a comma. Okay, our answer would be B. Vaporization in connection with general conditions are atmospheric, comma, has a marketed effect on long-term yeah. uh, long climate. Okay, but without the comma, it would be D. Vaporization in connection with general atmospheric conditions, okay, and actually this would be vaporization has, yeah, has, uh, has a marketed effect on long-term climate. Okay, but they're saying, excuse me. <laughs> hey. Sorry, something came up and just like, oh, holy cow, hit me right in the nose. I was like, oh no, here comes the sneeze. Okay. So, <laughs> that was great. Uh, yeah, so here it, it uh, they say that it will be conditions are atmospheric, but it does need the comma. So that one, uh, and again, that's that's my only issue with this website is that they leave out punctu vital punctuation that uh, that helps you uh, uh, answer the que the question correctly. Okay, but so yes, Amparo, you you would be right in okay. in uh, another situation. Okay, um, all right, number five. Dang it, I forgot again. Who, uh... Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed, right? Uh, Mohammed, number five. Blank is entirely up to him. How traveling is entirely up to him, B. Okay. How traveling is entirely up to him. What do you guys think? Agree. No. I okay. G. Letter A. Okay, one for A. Nurel, did you say D? Yeah, I want to try G. D, okay. Anybody else? Sorry, A, A. How he? Okay, so. A. All right, two for A, two for A, A. Um, two on B, one on D. So let's try A, B, and D. Okay. Uh, first one, A. How he travels is entirely up to him. B. How traveling is entirely up to him. D. How is how is he traveling is entirely up to him. Okay. Anybody want to change their answer? B. No. No. <laughs> okay. D, you, D, no. Oh. Incorrect. Suspense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Our answer is A. A. <laughs> How he travels is entirely up to him. Because they put him at the end. Yes. Uh huh. How he travels is entirely up to him. Letter D, it, it, it must be how he is traveling. Yes, D is, is How is he traveling? Yeah, D is a question. How is he traveling? Yeah, it's not a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's A, good. Yeah, I want to be unique on this question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do, let's do one more, you guys. Ivan. Whoops. Okay, Ivan, number six, please. Um, okay. Uh, by careful spin, uh, whether ma makers can encourage two small clouds uh, to merge into one big cloud, blank, uh, produce a powerful thunderstorm. Uh, mm -hmm. cloud. I think uh, let us see which. Okay, let's try that out. Uh, by by carefully seeding, 
Weather makers can encourage two small clouds to merge into one big cloud, which produce a, a powerful thunderstorm. Yes. Okay. Yes. No, because I need a third person, so I say letter D. Okay. Two for C, one for D. Anybody else? Okay, let's try out D. By careful seeding, weather makers can encourage two small clouds to merge into one big cloud and produce a powerful thunderstorm. D, yes. All right, our answer is D, okay? Because this is not in third person. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it is which, Producing. you would need to say which produces, mm -hmm. which produces a powerful thunderstorm. Mm -hmm. And you could say that and everything would be great. Okay. Okay. But yeah, and with produce. Okay. Very good, you guys. All right. Well, thank you for coming into class this hour. It was uh, great having you guys here. You guys got tons of turns to go around. That was awesome. Thank you. Very, very thank good. You. Very good. Great. Are you going right, to you use the, the, the another good side? <laughs> the challenging what, What's one? that? Are you going to use another <laughs> top one? No, well, okay. I, I like I like this website. I like this website. It's uh, it's good. It has like hundreds and hundreds of questions, um, uh, which I which I like to I like to use. Um, but I also like to see um, uh, really full classes and whatnot. But it could just be because it's Saturday. So, so we'll we'll see. Um, but every every time I've done this, okay, it's been jam packed and full, which I always like to see. I always like to see uh, really full classes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna test it out next week, uh, doing the same same thing, switching between uh, TOEFL uh, uh, sentence structures and TOEFL uh, English, and then uh, also taking into your suggestions, doing uh, some reading com uh, comprehension as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. All right, you guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 B